Hello friends, my name's Surreal Mail, and welcome back to some more Gran Turismo concepts. Today we'll continue on with our Let's Play. This is episode 7, and in today's episode we are going to be continuing on with the single race mode, and we're actually going to be heading to the rally tracks for today. And the rally track we're heading to is going to be the Swiss Alps, because it's the first one in this list, and it's also my favourite of the two. So let's get straight into this, we're going to be doing of course the normal version and the reverse version. So of course we're going to use a rally car of some description and I think I'm going to go for the Evo 7 rally car? Yeah sure why not, let's go with this one. Um, and then I'll probably use the pretzel one on Tahiti Maze I guess, because why not. So yeah, anyways, let's get straight into this. We are going to be facing off against a Ford Focus rally car, which is interesting. And oh god, this is going to be three laps, isn't it? So it's going to be three laps of um, the other one as well. I can't remember the circuit I don't like. Either way, can we actually smack it into the rally cars we race against in this game? I don't know, because he's running away um, quite quickly as well, actually, which is uh, not what I wanted. I'm just getting dirt in my face. This is not a good thing. Alright, let's, let's drift through our way through. There, there we go. We have the speed on the focus. Yes, we can smack into him. It's not like GT2, it's not a ghost car. Thank Christ. So at least I have someone to take my frustrations out on, should they pop up. However, by the looks of it, I'm doing relatively okay for now. Of course, Evo is a classic rally car, so classic rally car should do pretty darn well here. There we go through here. I can't remember what we used for white. Oh yeah, it's the uh, Toyota RSC and the uh, Ford Focus RS, of course, for these license tests when they're license tests. Sure. Anyways, uh, looks like we're doing relatively well at the moment, managing to hold it off that Focus. He is dropping quite far behind, which is what I like to see. Although, admittedly, we're coming up to this section now, probably my least favourite section of the track, just because it makes no bloody sense. Why does it do this? I don't know. And the focus battle looks like it has caught up quite a bit through that section, considering I really don't like it. And we're well, going to do that as well, so that's fine. Go that way, please. Uh, there is a thing behind me. Come on, focus. Oh, sorry, focus. Evo. Evo, that's what I'm driving, isn't it? Yes, look at this Evo. It's a, it's red. It's an Evo. Of course it is. Evos are the only rally cars that can be red. Um, actually, was there any other red rally cars? I don't remember. I don't care. Either way, here we go through here. Yeah, we can take the speed through there. Admittedly, probably should have downshifted. Yeah, uh, because that would have been kind of helpful to do. I should really let the game... Uh, or I should really use automatic shifting for the rally tracks, just because it makes everything a hell of a lot easier when it actually comes to playing the damn thing. But there we go. Anyways, lap two of three. We are doing relatively well by the looks of it. There we go, break through there. Pretty well through there as we come through this section as well. Nicely done. Right. Still, the time isn't particularly good at 1.35, I think, for the uh, time. For the actual license test just itself, you have to get like a 128 in a car which isn't nearly as powerful as this and also isn't actually a rally car, so... Yeah, you can sort of see my terrible uh, rallying skills here on full display. There we go through there. Okay, so this car isn't quite as um, rally happy as some vehicles are. Usually in most vehicles you can sort of get the slide on through there and it's pretty cool. In this, no, no, it doesn't like sliding. I assume it's going to be... A, Maybe it's just a Grand Truth Mode 3 thing where you actually have to physically be in first gear to get the car sliding. I don't know. Either way, 128 round there isn't particularly awful, I guess. As long as we beat the Focus Rally car, I don't really care. Um, because I don't. Anyways, through here, there we go. Shift down into fourth because of course the revs will drop because I'm going around a corner. And when I go around corners, I need to, you know, do the thing. Uh, Focus is still far behind, which is nice, even despite my cock-ups through various ones of these corners, he's still pretty far off behind, which is a good thing, certainly. Anyways, doing relatively well through here, let's break into here, there we go. Shift up, turn around, come around here, there we go. And full power on down here, this is probably where I make up most of my time, because I can actually 
you know, I can go in a straight line. That's that's something I can do. Although, to be fair, in most rally games, I can't. In this game, I can't, which is good. And now we come to this section again. Right, I'm going to try and break there. No, no, that isn't going to work at all, apparently. I'm going the wrong way. Has to be on the last lap as well, doesn't it? I think I've spoke about this before. My, um... You know how Fail Race says his signature thing is to roll cars? You know what my signature thing is? To cock up on the last lap. It always happens, and I don't know why. Despite that, however, I have pretty much beat this race, so yay. Also, I wasn't actually all that much slower than my last lap, so... Yeah, that, that tells you everything you need to know about my rallying skills. Anyways, there we go. When you get, of course, a shiny trophy for completing that. And we will receive a prize after this session. So let's go ahead and receive our prize. What are we going to get for competing on the Swiss Alps in the normal direction? We're going to get a Ford Focus RS by the looks of it. Which is awesome. I will definitely take that. Although, admittedly, I won't be using it. There we go. Ford Focus RS. Woo! And for completing it on the professional level, we get what looks to be a Pontiac Solstice. And indeed it is. There we go. It kind of looks like a Shelby Cobra Daytona, actually, from the side. Let's just let it spin around for a second. Yeah, I mean, I can see some sort of resemblance to the uh, Cobra Daytona there. Maybe that's what they was going with with that car. I don't really know. It'd be a bit strange considering, you know, Shelby Pontiac. Eh. Anyways, let's head back into the single race. Let's head back to the professional level. I wonder what sort of cars we... I wonder if we can actually use any of the road cars for this. What can we use if we use the road cars? New cars, the concept cars. Okay, what concept cars can we use? We can use Skyline, which apparently that's a concept car. Infinity and the RSC. No, thank you. Uh, new cars in Europe. What can we use out here? Oh, uh, no. Um, Pacific... Oh yeah, you cost, you want to use the Ford car, obviously. Uh, nope, don't want to use any of those, so let's just head to, actually, dream cars. Is there any dream cars we can use? Oh, he- oh. Hold on, that comes in different colours. Ha! Huh. I don't remember it doing that in any of the other games. Come on then. Yes. I don't know why you can drive that on dirt, but yeah, you can, so guess what I'm doing? I'm driving that on dirt. Also, I forgot to select automatic because I am a noob. Anyways, apparently a Mazda 6 LM goes against a Mazda 6 LM. Oh boy! Um, I have no idea why you can drive this car on the dirt, but you can, so yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I guess it's four-wheel drive, which is something. Um, it's also pretty quick, apparently. Although, then again, that downforce could bite us in the arse round here, uh, although... If I don't try, if I try and take this like a normal race course, maybe that'll work out a bit better. There we go. Through there. Alright. Come on. Being rammed out of the way a little bit. Let's try and get, there we go. Okay, so I have got a little bit of time on that other Mazda 6 touring car. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised you could, I actually forgot, yeah. You can actually use this for, uh, I remember there was a little bit of a strange thing you could do in uh, one of the other Gran Turismo games. I don't know, it could have been the 6 game actually, where I found out you could use the uh, concept car or the Master 6 race car for rallying. But there you go, yeah, can, so yeah, let's use that. Uh, a rallying touring car, because why not? Anyways, as we come through here, there we go, right, let's break into here like so. Yeah, it's actually really decent to drive this car on the dirt. If um, Tahiti Maze irritates me, this car may pop up again because... Ugh, Tahiti Maze, that's what we've got next. I don't like Tahiti Maze at all, so yeah, that'll be fun. Anyways, uh, <laughs> because of course I always have fun at Tahiti Maze, right? Remember Grand Turismo 2? Right, right? Yeah. I couldn't do that in a nice Tigra race car, and I don't have the uh, ice racing Tigra in this game, so I have no idea what I'm going to use. Oh yeah, there's no Scudo either, which would have sort of helped out. Because I believe this might be one of the only Grand Turismo games that did not have a Scudo in them. I believe this in the first game, actually, the only Grand Turismo... Actually, maybe... Actually, Grand Turismo 4 Prologue as well, I guess you could count that as a game. And Grand Turismo 5 Prologue, actually, come to think of it. I mean, are the Prologues classed as different games? I don't know. 
I mean, I think this should be definitely classed as a different game, considering it is actually, you know, it's not sold under the Gran Turismo 3 moniker, it's just sold as Gran Turismo Concept, so I mean, I guess it is, in theory, a completely different game. It does, actually, it doesn't play any differently to Gran Turismo 3, it has the same sound effects as Gran Turismo 3, it has the same everything as Gran Turismo 3, but, eh, I, I would class this as a different entrance into the series. Hence why I'm covering this game, although I might cover Gran Turismo 5 Prologue at some point because that game is kind of fun. Um, in fact, Gran Turismo 5 Prologue is uh, maybe even a little bit better than the uh, normal Gran Turismo 5 in terms of sort of... I mean, obviously the content isn't... it hasn't got nearly as much content, but I prefer the way it lays its content out. And it also made Gran Turismo 5 look like a lot better game than it actually turned out to be. Um, Either way, we are... Oh god, it's three laps. God damn it! I was kind of hoping it would be two laps and this torture would be over and I could stop using... Um, <laughs> I could at least get off the dirt tracks for a bit because... Oh yeah, god. I'm not looking forward to Tahiti Maze, going to be perfectly honest with you, especially considering that's going to be a three lap race as well, so... Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Either way, uh, how much have we got on the other Mazda? We have 1.5 seconds, okay. It just looks so goofy driving on here. It's like, oh hey, this is a uh, Le Mans. Oh sorry, what is this class as touring car? This is a touring car on the dirt because why not? I mean, touring cars, sure, they occasionally go off road. I mean, it's usually not. They're not meant to. Um, but I mean, if you've ever seen BTCC, they occasionally do go off road. They handle pretty mm, horribly off road as well. Uh, most of them end up with like broken bits of suspension after they've been off-road, but there you go. Either way, uh, again, as I've said before, f actually no, I haven't, have I? Um, through there, I can actually be pretty quick. That's probably my best part of the track, is sort of this straight going, oh, oh sorry, that corner going into this straight. That's probably the bit I'm best at as far as, like, that's sort of my strength, I guess, is doing that. Because, again, as I've mentioned before, I'm not particularly good at the rally courses. I don't like them. Oh, try not to hit the brick wall. And across the line. There we go. Okay. Uh, beat the other Mazda 6 by 1.4 seconds. That's kind of cool. We get a trophy, which is awesome. And let's go and check out what prize cars we have received from competing in that. We are going to get a... Wait for it, that's going to be a Nissan 350Z by the looks of it to be perfectly honest with you. I don't know if it is, I wouldn't expect it to be, but... Oh, yeah it is, okay. And we also get a... Oh god, that's a Suzuki GSX-4 car, I think? I have no idea what the hell that thing is, I think it's a GSX-4. It is indeed, I forgot that was in this game. Interesting car, not... Uh, I mean... It looks like a concept car, they were never actually going to make that thing, but it still would be pretty cool if they did. I wonder how much power it's got. It's got 172 horsepower. Oh yeah, it's a bike engine, isn't it? It kind of looks cool in blue as well, I like that. Anyways, as you can see, we're now 77% of the way through the game. In the next episode, we are going to be tackling the final of the quick race modes, and that's going to be Tahiti Maze 1 and Tahiti Maze 2. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, friends, I want to thank you all very, very much for watching. My name's been The Real Meal, and until next time, farewell.